everyone. <laughs> Sorry, I have so much energy. Always. The question is going to be very simple. Um, I don't threaten us like that, just tell the question. <laughs> So, um, I don't have many followers, I don't have m much of money. I'm going home and I'm thinking, what is the thing I can do for this? What is the thing I can do to help to save the soil? Let's say I have no garden, I have no many friends, there is only 20 people watching me on Instagram, so not really point. What can I actually do? You said, uh, you have so much energy <laughs> We could definitely use that. Well, do whatever. In your neighborhood, do a jig. Initially, people will think, what's wrong with her? <laughs> After some time, kids will come and dance with you. Tell them. Just go and tell your parents, they must talk about this. Go to a school and do the jig, they will love you. The adults have become like this. If they look at this person, what race is he, what religion is he, what nationality is he, what nonsense is he, you know, we are looking at every damn way to see how we can separate one human being from the other. You can call it a nation, you can call it race, you can call it religion, you can call it caste, creed, class, philosophy, ideology. But one way or the other, we are trying to find somehow ways of splitting up people. Once you do this, conflict is just a step away. Hello? Conflict is just a step away. When will it happen? It will happen sometime. And organize conflict, it's not like two people fought. It's going to be my group versus your group, my nation versus your nation, my religion versus your religion, my race versus your race. Oh, this is a massive fight, all right? It's been happening, happening, happening. So right now, soil is one unifying force. You may not understand the cosmic consciousness, how it unites the whole universe. Believe that, it's far away. At least you understand, this very body that you carry is soil. We eat off the soil. When we die, we go back to the soil. The only point is, will we get it now or when we bury it? This is all the point. So once you have gotten the point, and if you have energy, as you said... Too much. Sorry. There's nothing as too much, huh? When it comes to energy, there's nothing like too much. If… if you have lot of energy, you may have lot, but it's not too much, it's never too much. Because <laughs> as uh, you know, life is just this, a combination of time and energy. You have certain amount of time, certain amount of energy, yes? What else do you have? As you sit here, time is slipping away for all of us at the same speed. I can't say, I am a yogi, let me slow down my time <laughs> It doesn't work like, work like that. I have been uh, petitioning for a long time to give me a few extra hours per day. <laughs> no response <laughs> Only twenty-four hours and it goes at the same speed. In your experience, you can slow it down or hasten it. So time is a relative experience in that sense. So now you need to understand the only way you can make your life impactful and effective is to enhance the energy because time, nothing you can do, it just rolls. For everybody as you see, from the time you came here, from the time I came here and sat here, all of us are about an hour and a half closer to our graves. Yes, it's a fact, you better know this. If you really knew you're racing towards your grave, do you have time to get angry with somebody, quarrel with somebody, do some nonsense with somebody, wage a war with somebody? 
do you have time for all these things? People come and tell me, Sadhguru, this enemy, I can't bear him, what to do? I said, hey, just wait or he will die <laughs> You don't have to do anything, you just wait, either he will die or you will die. <laughs> Both ways the problem will be solved. So now you have lot of energy, time is very limited. So how to employ it? Well, each human being has to do it in their own way. So you don't have social media following, oh, link up with somebody. Um, Paris, am I getting it right? Yes. Ah, I got it. Yeah. I was afraid I'll say her name wrong. I won't try his <laughs> So, uh, I'm sure Caris has a following. Link up to that and every day say, save soil, do something, pick up one one fact from the website and keep saying it. People will think you're a soil scientist in three days. <laughs> and I will tell carries to retweet you if you tweet something sensible, huh? I'm saying go and request people. I'm saying at this time if you don't talk to people, at this time if you're shy of doing something, I'm telling you in twenty years time, we will be a very regretful generation. Please let's not go there. This is a generational responsibility. Save soil, let's make it happen.